Over the past few weeks, the argument over gun control has raged, and among those demanding stricter gun laws is CNN host Piers Morgan. There's one particular stat that Morgan has been citing for weeks. In our commitment to Balance News, Ben investigates the truth behind it in Reality Check. Last night on CNN's Piers Morgan Tonight, Morgan interviewed radio host Alex Jones. And to say it was wild, well, that would be an understatement. Here's just a small clip. Answer this question. How many Why'd guns? you get fired from the Daily how Mirror for putting many, out fake stories? How You're a hatchet many, man of the New World Order. You, let's try again. How <laughs> many gun murders were there? Oh, you're going to ban your fist now? In Britain last year. Uh, how many uh, chimpanzees can dance on the head of a pin? Hmm. I already went over those statistics. Do you know the answer? Uh, no, I don't. I, you said hundreds. It's very low. You said hundreds. Yes. It's actually 35. Well, the point is you can... Against 11,000. As I said, it was wild. And it got even more wild than that. But we wanted to take a look at some of that exchange because the stat that Piers Morgan was continuing to cite, one that Great Britain, which banned guns about 15 years ago, had only 35 gun-related murders in 2011 compared to the United States, which had 11,000. Let's start there, because that number is not correct. According to FBI crime stats for 2011, there were 12,664 homicides in the U.S. Of those, 8,583 were caused by firearms. But of those, 400 are listed as justifiable homicide by law enforcement, 260 justifiable homicide by private citizens. On the other hand, it is true that percentage-wise, Britain has a lower gun homicide rate. With a population of 62.6 million, Great Britain saw 59 gun-related homicides for 2011. Still, not the 35 Piers Morgan keeps citing. But that shouldn't be surprising that the gun homicide rate in a country that bans guns would be lower than in a country where guns are not banned. Where the argument falls apart is when you attempt to claim that fewer guns equals less crime. The U.S. has the highest gun ownership rate in the world, an average of 88 guns per 100 people. That puts it first in the world for gun ownership. Yemen is second with 54.8 guns per 100 people. So that means the U.S. has the highest gun murder rate as well, right? Well, no. Honduras, El Salvador, and Jamaica have higher rates. So do 24 other countries. The U.S., despite being number one in gun ownership, is number 28 in gun homicide with a rate of 2.97 per 100,000 people. Of course, Piers Morgan isn't calling for the U.S. to be more like El Salvador and Honduras. He's calling for us to be more like Great Britain. So what do the numbers look like there? The U.K. has the second highest overall crime rate in the EU. The U.K. has the fifth highest robbery rate, the fourth highest burglary rate. But more importantly, the EU named Britain as the most violent country in the EU. In the UK, there are 2,034 violent crimes per 100,000 people. That puts it way ahead of even South Africa with a rate of 1,609 per 100,000. In the United States, we're not even in the top 10. The US has a violent crime rate of 466 crimes per 100,000 residents. So what this means for you is that while people like Morgan insist that the US can learn from Great Britain, well, maybe we can. What we might learn is that violent crime is not the result of a gun or any tool. It is the result of the heart of men and women. And that is Reality Check. You can find the sources for the story posted on our website at fox19.com. If you'd like to make your voice heard in the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. Find it by searching Ben Swan. And we are also putting a link to the full interview between Piers Morgan and Alex Jones. It's two parts. It is, uh, it's worth, it's worth watching, watching it. Instead, I was reading it last night. You need to watch it, you though. You need to watch you it. You have to watch it. Yeah. yeah.